but low Roscoe. Hey, Booker! Four score and seven years ago... Keep looking. One of the many appealing things about Bioshock Infinite is your partner for the journey, Elizabeth. Just a couple of scenes in, and she's already someone we want to spend time with. Scratch. Nice. Yeah, we're exclusive, you know. I think she really likes me. Hey, Elizabeth. Those bloody builders. When we caught up with Bioshock Big Cheese Ken Levine recently, we wanted to talk Elizabeth. He wanted to talk Ken. Elizabeth. Uh, yeah, my tapping into childhood experiences with Elizabeth, you know, in terms of her story. I mean, the only in the sense that I think it's an experience we all have, which is the, you know, break, growing up and breaking free of the cage, you know, the, the cage we're in as kids. Because well, kids are, by design, you know, in, in sort of a, a limited place and they're not fully able to express themselves. And as a kid, I was desperate to grow up and I was desperate to not get away from my parents per se, but have- Hello, Ken, only me. And um, have the ability to decide what I was gonna do and become the person I thought I could become. I was so, I wanted childhood to be over. That makes me strange. I think a lot of people love their childhood. I just wanted it to be over so I could do the things that I wanted to do. And um, so I relate to Elizabeth and I felt that, you know, to me, I felt, you know, that I wasn't understood and that I, you know, um, was trapped to some degree. And I think that it, it's, it's a common feeling to, to, a, to a large extent. And I had wonderful parents, you know, um, but still I felt that I, I needed to become the person that I wanted to become. Elizabeth. Promise me. I will stop him. No. That is an oath you cannot keep. But promise me that if it comes to it, you will not let him take me back. It won't come to that. All right? Leave the builders to me, love. Yeah, I mean, is Elizabeth a special character for me? I mean, she's, to me, she's sort of a real person, and that's kind of weird because I spend so much time thinking about her. Um, you know, certainly more than any other woman I've ever thought about than my wife, probably. Um, and, um, you know, of course she doesn't exist, but I, we have to believe she exists and I have to care. I have to empathize with her. If I can, as the writer, empathize with her, there's no hope of the audience. So I spend a lot of time thinking about, you know, getting to be empathetic with her and what would make me empathetic with this person. Because, you know, when she started, she was nothing, you know, we sort of, she built her from scratch. and. Um, we spend a lot of time thinking about what connects people, you know, what connects Booker and Elizabeth, or by extension, the player and Elizabeth. Um, what sort of cements relationships very quickly, what kind of experiences people have together and the kind of struggle they go through together and the kind of trust they have to put in each other, the kind of sacrifices they make for each other. Those are the things that bind them very quickly to each other and hopefully by extension, the player. <laughs> so good. I'm okay. I just... I just need a moment. <gasps> a moment we don't have. We all go through a time in our life where we feel trapped at a certain place and there are one or two people telling you what you can and can't do and you feel extremely limited and all you want to do is control your own destiny. And her story, you know, is that story writ very large. Um, and I think we can connect to that. Um, in, in a very primal way, because that sort of breaking of, of that bond is, you know, or at least to some degree, is just part of a, a cycle of life. And sometimes that 
bond is very positive and sometimes like you know i think sometimes it's very negative and sometimes like with booker with elizabeth and songbird it's a mix there's feelings of of of, of warmth but there's also a a repulsion and a need to get away just yeah. like me mum. I don't think I can do it again. Is that really Comstock House? What if he won't help me? I can be persuasive. You will get your freedom, and I get paid. Win-win. Booker. Thank you. Booker! Okay, now, I'm sure we can sort this out, gentlemen. Will you take a check? American Express! Stop! Stop it! Stop it! Don't hurt him! I'm sorry! I'm sorry. I never should have left. I never should have left. Take me back. Take me. Take me home. Please. 